Yo, everybody, this is Purge, bringing you another Purge Cast of Pub, and I am going to be hopping into this game. It is looking pretty good. A uh, little bit announcement about the uh, replays. I am currently pretty much full on games to cast. I have a big notepad written down of decent games to cast, so uh, there's extremely, extremely low chances of um, me casting your pub. So unless your game is absolutely ridiculously fantastic, um, then I like extremely special, then I probably won't be able to get to it, unfortunately. So um, I currently have to go through a lot of those emails every week. So if it's not fantastic, please save me the time and do not send it. Um, I appreciate that you guys are interested in having it on the channel, but unfortunately there's just too much to cover, so I can't get to it. Um, and related news, uh, and by related, I mean not related at all. Uh, my guide recently went live in game. So if I press shift tab right now, this should pop up here. And if we take a look over here, um, it is in the guide section. This is because I favorited it, so it's showing at all times. But if you guys want to see this, just press the View All Guides button. And it should be under Popular Guides, I'm guessing. Um, at least it's showing for me right now. Um, if we click onto it directly, then um, you can find it under one of the other sections, by the way. But you can just scroll through here. It shows favorites and visitors. And it's basically transposed. It, it is some very, very minor differences in like font and stuff like that. But it's essentially right here. So... That is the guide. It is there. There are comments and all this other stuff. So um, go check it out sometime if you guys are looking for the guide. You can watch it or look at it in-game or out-of-game on my website. Um, by the way, I'm recording this right before I go get lunch, and then I'll probably stream afterwards. So if you guys are watching this on YouTube today, I'm going to upload it today. Go to my website, purgegamers.com slash stream, and I just might be streaming right now if you guys want to see me play. I'm going to see a pause this game, actually. Um, let's go over the players really quick for the rating team. We have uh, Marika14 is me playing Undyne. We've got Stalker Shadow on the Shadow Shaman mid lane is going to be Ramalich is going to be playing Necrolite in the bot lane we've got Ekla playing Sanking and Mozak Kosurno is playing Wisp for the Dire team Masamune Hikara is playing Jakiro somebody likes anime a lot of people like anime DJ Ferrets Box Invisi Toti is playing Luna and we have uh, Pony Chico is playing the Dryringer and finally we've got DJ Mongoose is playing Dark wait DJ Ferrets and DJ Mongoose okay, okay. and uh, Mishima 25 is playing Klinks so that is the players in this game. Um, starting item builds, uh, looking okay for Clinks. DJ Mongoose has decent items. He doesn't have quite enough regen in my opinion, but oh, that's right, kill that tombstone. Yes, you got this, Clinks. You got this. You got this. You got this. No. No. It's got one HP, dude. Kill it. Come on. Oh, man. Look at all the gold. That's, that's like 60, 40 gold something. 60 gold. I don't know what it is. It's a lot of gold. He should have killed that. One HP. Come on, Clinks, you got this. They were killing the zombies at least, but um, Stalker Shadow has pretty good starting item build. They do have a career as well, so a little greedy here. Dry Range is going to get the first blood actually on Wisp. I don't know what Wisp was doing, but he is revived now, and he looked like he was under tower. Maybe dive the tower or something? I'm not really sure. I mean, that's a boost for its Dry Ranger. How are you supposed to kill that man? That's Imba. Wow, he's zero armor. I had no idea. Dry Ranger is squishy as hell. Wow. Uh, five clarity potions on Luna is definitely overkill here, but at least he's going to be able to get a lot of Lucent Beam spam once he hits probably level 3. I would save it to level 3. You don't really want to spam a level 1 Lucent Beam because it does double the damage for pretty much the same mana once he does get it to a second skill point. So I would save that until he hits level 3, and then I would spam the Lucent Beam like crazy. That was a missed last hit. He definitely attacked the creep. That was not low. Uh, mid lane is Necrolite. He has a double mantle with a Boots of Speed. Uh, this skill build is okay. I, I personally think it's it's pretty worthwhile to grab a level of Heartstopper Aura in a 1v1 situation, or even in almost all situations. Like, the regen, the degen aura is not that huge, but the, but it's 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 significant. Over time, it does kind of counteract. Let's, let's do some quick math. 0.6%. I'm actually going to whip open a calculator so that this actually is accurate. Um... Let's say, all right, uh, Jakira has 739 HP right now. Let's multiply this by 0 0.06. Oops, I did that wrong. Uh, is that correct? 6%? Yeah, that's 6%. Uh, nope, I think I did that wrong. I'm sorry. Um, 0.6%, it should be 0 0.006, not that. So anyways, oh, I can just move the decimal. That's going to be like 4% or 4 HP per second. Is that right? God, I feel like a terrible person. 1% would be 7, therefore 0.6 is going to be about 4, yeah. So it's like 4 four HP damage per second. So it's like counteracting a Tango, essentially. A Tango regens about that much. Um, it's like 8, uh, so it's like half of a Tango. Anyways, it does add up. Over 10 seconds, we're talking about 40 HP. Over 100 seconds, which is actually a decent amount of time, we're talking 400 damage. That's a salve over the course of a minute and a half, and that's going to happen. Oh man, Death Pulse is going to wail on him here, but... 
He's going to trade hits, actually. He's going to have Liquid Fire coming up in a second, and he's getting really low. There's the Ice Path, and he's going to get the first blood, at least on the mid lane. So, Jakir takes it, level 5 now, and he is, like, really into Liquid... Wow, really, really into Liquid Fire. Three levels of Liquid Fire. I don't recommend the skill build. I think Dual Breath Ice Path is by far the best one. Um, Liquid Fire is okay for pushing towers and stuff, but um, the nuke potential of Dual Breath and Ice Path together are just massive. Now, Ice Path has been nerfed a lot lately. It now costs 90 mana instead of 75, and it only does 25 damage at level 1, so the skill is significantly worse. I think Jakiro is not even close to as strong as he was previously, but um, this build is really crappy, in my opinion. If you really want to do this build, I would go Dual Breath Liquid Fire. It was kind of like a more old-school build back when uh, Ice Path wasn't very good, but... Um, you still can do it, but I, I just don't think that the, all this liquid fire is worth it. He's going to do some ice path harass on Necrolite. It is nice to have this much early status, I won't disagree with that, but I just think at least one level of Heartstopper Aura is definitely, um, is definitely worth snagging, personally. Though you could make arguments that getting into the fourth level of status ASAP is very good, because, uh, those extra kills, I mean, let me think, if you had four and four and one, you could have this maxed out by, uh, nine instead of ten. Which isn't that much of a difference. So it's probably not really worth picking up. Um, skipping the Heartstopper just to get the status. A one level of Heartstopper is worth it. Heartstopper is actually a really fantastic skill. Uh, especially a late game. If you do the math, 1.5% HP removal. That means it's doing... If, if he had that maxed out right now, that means Jakir would be losing 70... Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, 120 HP per second. 10%... Or sorry. 1% is 8. Is that correct? 10% is 80... 1% is 8, 8.2, so like 12 HP per second he would be losing right now. That is insane. Over the course of 10 seconds, we're talking about, um, yeah, 100, uh, 140 HP. That's huge. That's, that's so much HP per second. I still, it's obviously worth maxing out Death Pulse first, but it'd be kind of fun to try a Heartstopper or a first build sometime. But Sadus is still go so good now, I just don't think it's doable. Anyways, uh, Klinks is going for a fast ring of Aqua. I recommend getting boots first before doing this. Though he does have a little bit of trouble lasting. He's sick vacuum. Is that what level vacuum is that? Level one vacuum versus a level uh, versus a range creep here. Ends up being alive here. Um, oh, melee creeps are level three. <laughs> um, yeah, there's the sick tombstone harass. Look at those zombies. Go zombie. Yeah, zombie, you got this. I don't think the zombies are going to do a whole lot here. It's kind of wasting the tombstone. You really don't want to cast this unless uh, you know the other guy is also going to disable. Simply not worth it. Once again, it's spamming Aether Shock, but that's really not worth it either. you got to save that ability, honestly. Save If he doesn't have any mana, he can't do any disables. It's cool that he has Hex, but he should actually go Shackles. It's actually a good dual lane, believe it or not. If you have Decay and Shackle on one guy and they can't interrupt it, you can kill somebody pretty easily at level 2. But this Darkseer is quite tanky, so this can be difficult. We have a very, very farmed Wisp down here. It looks like he started with zero items and ended up going for a mask, a Morbid Mask into Sage Mask. So, yeah, they are going to get a kill here. Nice Burl Strike from the Sanking. Sanking actually is a good build. Boot Stout Shield with a Gauntlet. Uh, the Wisp, Sage's Mask, Morbid Mask, lots of percentage-based things, which means they suck early. A ring of, uh, Sage's, mask, uh, Sage's, Sage's Mask actually does the, just about the same... Actually, it does exactly the same regen as a Ring of Basilius. Or, it's very, very close. It's like the point of difference. When you have 33 int, a Sage's Mask, I believe, regens you... It's either more or less than a Ring of Basilius. 34 means Sage's Mask does more regen than a Ring of Basilius. So, at the moment here, um, Wisp is kind of in a weird spot. But, um, Morbid Mask, it's only life-stealing about um, 7 HP per hit right now. Oop, he actually just took a... That bounce is doing a crap load of damage. Oh my gosh, 30% reduction. Well, that's why, because he hits so hard. Uh, his skill build's not so good here. You should only have one Lunar Blessing, or you should not have the Moonglaive. Uh, three Lucent Beams at five would be good, especially because he has all these Clarity Potions, and he's getting a Sage's Mask, so you might as well get all that mana regen to do all the damage. It's a Tranquil, plus a Boots of Elven Skin and Drought. Kind of a weird build, but I guess it kind of works here. Um, it does give him the regen that he's in some ways missing, so um, once he hits six, he's going to be seeing a lot better, but some harassed from the Luna now. And Wisp, by the way, is, yeah, he's going stats. Two levels in stats. He picks up a Gloves of Haste now. He's just going to buy all items from the side shop. Why would you buy from the main base? No problem. Um, treads for Necrolite now. Um, his skill build's actually pretty good. Once again, I wish he had the Heartstopper, but his Int is okay. His item build was not efficient for the early game, but it does give him a lot of right-click power as well as a lot of Int pool. So it could be much worse, to be honest. It's going to slightly regen up from this uh, 2 HP regen. It's uh, 12 HP per last hit right now, which is pretty cool. Though there is some decent damage being done to the tower due to the level 4 liquid fire. He has used a macro pyre as well. Some more sick ice path harass here. Still two levels of that one. 
And these guys on top are actually playing it really safe. It's going to be a Tranquil, or sorry, Clarity Pass to Shadow Shaman. Some salves as well. Where did these come from? Did they just buy these? I think he's going to K on Undying next. Mongoose over here is decent items. I wish he had a Tranquil, I'm um, sorry, a uh, Soul Ring, but he doesn't. Um, buys the Gloves of Haste. Not really worth it. Getting your mana options up for Darkster is the best. And of course, um, you should probably skip all of Replica at 6 because he doesn't really have the mana to afford casting Iron Shell very often. So getting Soul Ring is by far the biggest priority. Similar to Enigma, basically. Another really sick macro power in the mid lane. I'm sure he has killed the Creep Wave with this. He's got three salves as well, who's really set for regen. Apparently does not want to buy anything else. And Draw Ranger will do his best last hit while hiding in trees. These two guys will sit in lane. A little bit of tether regen here, but he probably lost himself more than... What's the duration on this? 12? He only gained... Yeah, he's like giving SK mana and HP, but it's probably a Burrow Strike that. Oh man, Burrow Strike. Burrow Strike. Burrow Strike. Yes! Sick Burrow Strike. And Life Steal it. Life Steal. Life Steal. Wisp. Life Steal. All right, he left. They could have gotten that kill, actually. Um, if he got a little closer, I guess it wouldn't have mattered because the tether stacking with the burst strike wouldn't matter. But if he actually had the mana for epicenter, that could have been a kill. But does he have enough? He does if he was maxed out, actually. He could get a kill. Maybe this is why he's tethering to him so he can get more regen. Um, he's not going to get there, though. He's not going to get to the full mana. He can burst strike epi kill uh, draw ranger very easily, though. And uh, Luna is sitting in base purchasing, buys a stout shield. Items are full, though, so he's going to walk all the way back to the bot lane. Um, make sure you max out Lucent Beam, guys, because his Lucent Beam is based off of his... I'm sorry, his Eclipse is based off of Lucent Beam, which is only two skill points, which isn't very good, so... Um, Undyne is still getting some less. It's another sick level one vacuum. There's the wards going down. Defensive wards. Kill him. Nice hex. Can he get the kills? The tower hits and DJ Mongoose is ripping the fat beats, so he's going to be absolutely fine. 200 HP and no regen on him, of course, so he may have to go back to base. So a lot of these players are really not getting a lot of good regen items early. I mean, they're they're, what they're essentially doing is they're spending all their items on consumables. They may not be as aware of what kind of items are, exist, so um, they're not able... I mean, they're just pretty much everybody in every lane is focusing on consumables to get their regen up. But with the um, exception of maybe Wisp, he's the only guy that actually has like a a regen item that's going to end up staying there late. Is, is this life still working? Let's see. Right-click something, please, God. Right-click. Goddamn, right-click. This is important for science. Oh, oh. I can't tell. I think this is regening him. Oh, Burrow Strike 2? Oh, man, he could have got a double. Oh, there's the epicenter. This looks really bad. Oh, there's a huge eclipse, but there's one kill. Will they get two? Yes, he gets the double. Nice play there. He should have burrowed on two, though. Could have caught two. And then they just kind of stood there, which was weird. Looks like he tried to silence, but it was like way after the epi. So that's a bunch of dead heroes. I and mean, Lucent Beam should have caught that, I think. Did Draw get burrowed? I think. It, they definitely didn't stop it, though. A lot of new players don't know what Epicenter looks like, so then all you have to do is burrow Epi, and then people die, and it's really easy kills, so. More tower damage here on the mid lane. That's Arcane Boots now, which is decent on Jakiro. Should be using those whenever they're off cooldown, of course. Dyer is going to glyph this. Uh, not taking a whole lot of damage, but... I think he is getting HP whenever he life steals. I'm pretty sure. It's kind of looking like it. And now Sanking is going to take some tower damage. Good stuff. Necrolite gets killing Jakiro, actually. Looks like he used his ulti mid lane. Uh, four levels of Sadist, and look at the heal on that. Pretty sick. Uh, four HP times six is 24. So you get 240 HP every hero kill. Just go last hit, dude. You'll get last hit. Drawinger kills Wisp, actually. So Wisp is going to go down finally. Like, missing all the kills here. Top lane, they look like they want to dive. Decent mana all on the Shadow Shaman. Still no boots on any of these bros. Still no Soul Ring either on Undyne. Oh, sick wards. It's like, here's my wards, man. Have fun. Some damage. There's a Hex as well. Will they get the kill? Probably not. There's going to be a Tomb, actually. It's the Starker Shadow. It's getting Iron Shelled. Totally Iron Shelled. Really effective Iron Shell. Any regen yet? Nope. No regen. He's got three Iron, so he's maxing this out at least. And two Surge is actually effective to get. Nice last hit. That was a lot of gold, actually. 110 is huge. TJ Mongoose has got this. I told you guys. Sick beats. 
casts in Decay finally, a little damage there. Skill build is okay. I'm not a huge fan of having two soul reps myself because um, there's usually not 10 units around unless you drop a tombstone. And it does increase the mana cost by 50%, and usually an Undyne will be a little low on mana in the early game. So I'd, I'd recommend not maxing out soul reps. Jarnja gets the last hit actually, picks up level 6, so he's good damage now, and they're going to do a good job on the bottom. He's leveling up Lunar Blessing equally with Lucent Beam, which I don't recommend. But either way, they are going to hit really hard on the bot lane because of the Precision Aura as well as the uh, uh, Lunar Blessing. So it's going to run right past the regen. He's going to pick up uh, two slippers for some reason. I think he's getting a poor man's shield. Isn't there a stout on this? Yeah, there is. He's getting a poor man's shield. Versus this team, I don't recommend it. It's going to stop zombies, actually, which is cool. It'll stop zombies and the serpent warts, which will be good for that. But that's about it. It's probably the only reason I'd recommend getting a poor man's on a range. Uh, Broodmother, sometimes. One time I played a dry ranger and I got a poor man's versus a broodmother. It actually worked out quite well because we didn't have enough AoE to stop the spiders. But you can stop the spider damage by 10 for every single one, guaranteed. And it actually did work out. But it's very, very rare that getting a poor man's on a range here is what they might be able to get this kill. There's Eclipse. Perfect time for the creep wave to show up. And here comes an epi. This looks really bad, though. Tower gets killed by Jakiro, at least. But big epi center by Sanking. He's actually got really good items here. Arcane Vitality Boost. These are fantastic. I would love to see a Magic Stick, maybe, but other than that, we're about good here. Still hasn't bought a Soul Ring. I don't know if he's going to buy a Soul Ring, but damn it, he should buy a Soul Ring. I don't like Soul Ring on Undyne, but if you're going to buy the Sage's Mask and the Ring of Regen, like, at least finish it. I don't know. That, that, that would seem smart. Going to see some items brought to the top lane. It is a Salve as well as possible Treads on Clinks. He's still got Max Skeleton Walk here. And he does pick up his ult, he could be using this. Did I hear a vacuum? I did hear a vacuum. Level 2 vacuum this time, pretty sick or ass. And Dry Ranger is going to shift over. Will he dive this? It's the Surge, actually. He could maybe get the kill. No, it's Tombstone. Safe. Good Good thing he backed off. He wouldn't have gotten the kill. Um, he would have died for it if he did, for sure. So, Clinks is actually going to use his ulti on a Centaur, so that's good. He, has, he does know how to use that ability. We see wards get put down, apparently. It's going to stop the push. There's another Hex, but I feel like that's going to burn all of his mana here. He's literally not moving. He just wants to right-click. Those ward usages, man. Really likes... Wow, is he rushing Aghanims before Boots? That's, that's kind of what it looks like. Bot Tower looks at... Wow, he did get Treads. Okay, okay so Boots are up for Wisp. He's picked up Overcharge. Wow, there's a lot of gold on Sanking. Hopefully he's saving up for... Probably going to be a Vanguard, but I wish it was a Blink Dagger. TP scroll... Is he going to buy a Vanguard? Bro, are you buying a Vanguard? He is buying a Vanguard. So he's got a Vanguard. A lot of HP to him. This is actually sometimes an okay early item build for Sanking because staying alive is a good thing. You have to keep in mind that every 11 seconds you do a large damage AoE stun. That's pretty cool. I think he tried to TP with Wisp there, but that doesn't work. Um, having a lot of HP on Sanking is not bad, though, because if you can continue burst striking over the course of a team fight, you're doing a lot of damage. That's a big ulti on Drow. Will he kill him with the Heartstopper? Heartstopper? He's going down. He's actually matching the regen with the Tranquil Boots, so he's barely staying alive here, but he looks dead, and there's the right click. Here comes the mana. Look at the mana. Look at that. God, that is impressive. Oh my... God, that is so much mana. That is that is so much mana. 600 mana that he just got. That was insane. That was like a full HP heal, getting that kill. Vitality booster on him. Perseverance. Not a bad item build. It's probably going Bloodstone. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the Bloodstone item build. I think there's better things that you can do with it, but he's actually going to trade hits here, doing some damage to the Clinks. Uh, the reason Bloodstone isn't very effective, uh, Luna is getting a kill somewhere. Did he use Eclipse? He did not. He just kind of killed the Wisp. Not sure what that was about. The reason Bloodstone isn't that good on Necrolite, Bloodstone is largely an HP and mana regen item. That's pretty much what it's used for. It does give you some HP regen as well. The problem is that the HP is good and the mana is good on Necrolite, but you can get the mana regen and the HP regen by using either Death Pulse or Status together. So, hypothetically speaking, yeah, the HP is good, but he doesn't increase his armor, he doesn't increase his magic resistance, and at low skilled games, this is going to work just fine, but at higher skilled games, I don't think Bloodstone is the way to go, to be honest. Um, the extra mana regen can be useful, but largely you just want to be as HP and uh, survivability stacked as possible on Necrolite. You can get the mana regen from Sadus. I think at some point, um, maybe going to max tank build like a mech or a pipe is not enough mana, but Bloodstone I think is not the right build for Necrolite. I think mech phase with some kind of vitality booster or tank after that is, is the best. Um, I think those are usually the best builds myself. So... A little strafe right click on the tower here from Clinks, doing some good damage. Not bad. It's gonna go invis, of course, as Necrolite comes for the gank. 
pretty sick wall usage here. Luna's going to get another kill, actually. He's talking about Shadow Shaman. That was an Eclipse this time. He does finally have Lucent Beam maxed out, so it's doing some good damage. His item build's actually looking really strong right now. It's just his progression was pretty terrible. He started off with, like, a Ring of Aquila, and then he got, like, Gloves of Haste. But it looks okay now. Poor Man's Shield, Aquila, Treads. Uh, a Wand would maybe be overkill here, since he already has a lot of early game items. The Poor Man's and the Ring of Aquila. But, you know, he's looking okay right now. These look fine. Yasha Tranquil Boots and Drow, it's not bad either. Decent attack speed, lots of agility. This is giving 20 damage to his allies right now, so all of these ranged heroes are actually doing quite well. That includes Clinks, by the way. Um, don't use your ulti on ranged creeps, that's a mistake. They have much less HP than a melee creep, so you can get a lot more HP. Another sick vacuum, level 2 vacuum here. He obviously tried to cast it outside of cast range, so all nice, and they grab an illusion rune. And once again, dropping the defensive tombstone. They're trying to really hard to defend this tower. Oh man, Iron Shell is totally going to kill these illusions. Oh wait, that was Darkseer, sorry. Oh damn! <laughs> oh man, Necrolite was like, oh yeah, here comes a kill. Another, that decay whiffed really bad. That could have been, man, this game is funny. Um, he just saw that low HP, he's like, it might not be real. But I'm going to throw it. And he threw it. And he didn't get the... Oh, epicenter. 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 Oh, there's the epicenter. A little late, actually. But there's the tether. Walk towards them. Oh, God. You could have gotten the kill. Get the clicks. Oh, burst strike. Oh, burst strike double. No. Oh, God. Oh, you could have gotten a burst strike double and you didn't even know it. Oh, God. Sanking. Follow your cooldowns. Oh, I'm really sad about that. I am so sad about that. Wisp doesn't even have his ulti either. That is really sad. God. Oh, he could have gotten a double. Dyer's top tower. Oh, I thought he was going to get the double. It was going to be so Dyer's cool. Is he, did he spell the Dark Seer? Nope, he did not. Once again, this guy is going to tether his Sanking. Use the Arcanes. Have you used this? Everybody needs mana really bad. Uh, that's a kill. All right, yep, that is definitely a kill. Wow, the wards are accidentally used in a good way. Stalker Shadow's like, dude, there's a hero to kill. And then the tower got killed Dyer's by the wards. Partially, at least. So they're five men pushing. They actually have a really good five men push team versus the dire team who has three carries, by the way. Three freaking carries. You might as well push this. I mean, this is actually almost a good draft, dare I say. Do they have a good tri lane? They could do like Wisp Undyned Sanking and then do like a solo Necrolite and a solo. So that would kind of work. There's right clicks. Wow, that's a dead Wisp. Wisp has no HP. Burrow Strike's gonna whiff. We need some Eclipse. Eclipse that shit. I'll Eclipse that shit. Oh, wait, that's an invis hero. Wait, he's just gonna die. And that's a double kill on the top lane. Pretty sick turnaround. They shouldn't have lost that fight, though. There's no there's no reason that um, the Radiant team should lose a fight at this point. I'm guessing their goal is way ahead. It's actually not. Um, it's pretty much dead equal, but they have such better heroes for the early game than the Dire team does. Though, um, Eclipse is really scary. Jakiro's gonna disconnect. I don't know what that's about. He is going for a mech, so he must be finding, following recommended items. His skill build is still not very good, but it's, it's looking better now. Once he maxes out Dual Breath, I think his skill build is great, to be honest. See what else is going on. Helm of the Dominator for Luna is the pickup. HP is okay. Um, early game items are definitely there. Uh, the most popular Chinese build right now, or at least the most popular carry Luna build at the moment, is Tranquil into Drums. It's very, very popular. The reason you get the Tranquil Boots is because you'd prefer not to get the Lifesteal. The Lifesteal is okay because you can stack creeps with it, but if you're not stacking creeps, I would definitely recommend to skip Helm of the Dominator. Not worth it. Uh, Darkseer goes for more HP, Vitality Booster. I think he's going Vanguard, but he still should have a Soul Ring, most likely. Tombstone used defensively to try to save, but they're actually doing really good damage right now. Plus 35 from the Precision as well as the uh, Ring of Aqual here. And he is going Orchid, which is a good build. They might be able to take a tower from this, I'm guessing. Four levels of Lunar Blessing. And uh, four levels of Precision are now. Look how hard these guys are hitting. Uh, Heartstopper is here. Two levels of this one. Yeah, he is definitely going for a Bloodstone. Most definitely. I'd recommend... Okay, that was a little early. Vacuum actually works. Run, Stalker Shadow! Oh, damn, they might be in trouble. But the creeps again. Wow. Now that was a freaking epi. Holy crap. That was a sick epi Heartstopper kill. Get it. Get it. Get it. Don't stop chasing. Don't stop chasing. Do you realize? Oh! 4 HP is too fast. The Asha. The Asha. Oh my god, he lived. That was so close. Did he realize that Heartstopper was killing him? I, I really don't know, but holy crap. 4 HP, that was like two ticks. The Asha pays off, guys. He's got more than enough. Well, uh, yeah, he can afford Manta. Get your Manta, bro. Bro, buy your Manta. He should have that. He's got a lot of gold. I can't believe that that, that all worked out. Is there a ward in there? Oh, that's cool. It shows as Observer Wards, but really it's a Sentry or Observer. But yeah, it does say Observer Ward. That's funny. 
Um, that wall was like way early. I don't even think there were enemies showing at that point. He just like dropped the wall and vacuumed it. It actually worked out. That epicenter was sick. It killed so many heroes. It killed like three heroes. Luna misused the uh, eclipse a little bit. What you actually want to do, if there's if there's a creeps here, guys, and the enemy is here, and you have eclipse, you don't want to run within range of the creeps because then eclipse can hit the creeps. You want to stand kind of like on the outer side so that it at least hits one guy uh, multiple times. That would have been a little bit better. He didn't do it, but it's okay. Clinks is almost up to his orchid. His skill build did a lot of weird things to get there, but it's now looking okay. <laughs> did a lot of weird things. Uh, Jakiro has reconnected, which is good. Good for him. Congratulations, Jakiro. He can actually finish his mechanism now. Bloodstone's finished, and Necrolite's now going to have that BS. So, Bloodstone's going to help out a lot. I guess he's going to make Null Talismans. I don't recommend this, guys. Making a late game Null Talisman, not worth it. Um, you either build those items right away, or you don't build them at all. Unless you're a support and you really need HP and you're behind, then you get Bracers. But Necrolite should not be building these right now. It's not worth it. Unless you're building a Dagon. That's the only excuse, really. Or, or you're really behind. Vacuum's going to whiff, unfortunately. They can kill this guy. Just kill him, guys. They were got. They really got scared of the wall there. Like, oh god, it's the wall. They ran. They didn't really need to. They could have just played it safe. Oh my god, this guy really likes basic components. Double, Double morbid mask. These do not stack, by the way. With a sage's mask and the gloves of haste, it would be kind of cool if they stacked. I guess because you could life steal like 100% easy burst trick. Fight, Jesus, just fight. There's the vacuum. There's the burrow. Is he gonna? He's gonna channel Epi under the macro power, but it's gonna get off, and it doesn't matter. Look at the damage. Who even cares? It was weird. God, what a weird man. Noob team fights are the best. They're just like, they don't know, and they just throw everything. The Sanking is making plays though. Dude's got nine kills. He's actually going Veil, which is pretty good. He can afford this now. Hopefully, he uses it correctly. Don't know if he will. Uh, they actually broke even. That was three dying on each team, with uh, Luna still farming. So that was okay actually. What is he getting? Oh, not quite sure. Um. Four staff, Aghanims, probably gonna be Aghanims, since he is a low, lower skilled player. Look at the damage on Necro. Wisp has 600 HP. Please, God, hit the Wisp. How is this? He's got 600 HP, guys. Come on. All right. If if there's a squishy guy with like seven armor, you don't hit the Necrolite. This guys, I mean, he's probably not checking items and just decides to kill the Necrolite. But just kill the Wisp. The Wisp is so easy. Somebody TPing. Please kill the Wisp. Damage reduction. Nine bloodstone charges on Necrolite, by the way. Since he stayed alive in that team fight, a lot of the heroes died. That was very good for him. Very good. Sanking has his veil finish. Still, Blink Dagger first is the best option, but going Vanguard Blail, uh, sorry, Vanguard Veil is not terrible. Please hit the low HP. All right, he's gonna eclipse on a full creep wave, of course. Keep running, keep running. He got one. He actually did get the wisp. A little lucky there. But we're going to see. I think he's going to turn this around easy. Yeah, there's the heals. Oh, oh wait. He might go down. We'll see. Macro a lot of damage. Can he get out? Let's get out of the fire. No. He died. All right. He's dead. Bloodstone. Losing half. Wow. Dragonger hits really hard right now. He went crit. That's why. Hasn't finished his Manta style. Apparently, he's just going to farm zombies all day. Farming zombies all day, every day. Why is this zombie just... This guy's name was Fire. Why is that zombie just hanging out? He just didn't care. They're like really into farming zombies here. All right, and the auto cast is on. Anyways, uh, Mantis style probably would have been better, but a Crystallis is not bad on draw range. She hits. Look how hard she hits right now. 181 plus 71. This like doesn't even look real. Freaking 40 bonus agility doubles when you're no nearby enemy heroes. That's so insane, dude. It's like 80 damage. God, that's so much damage. 41 freaking damage going to Jakiro. Not the. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like look at this range creep. All right, this one doesn't have it. Oh, it's only a creeps in a short radius. Okay, so it only pushes. But look at this. 41 plus damage to this creep. That is ridiculously powerful. So good. All right, double no talisman on Necrolite. Not worth it. He should have gone straight into an armor item probably based on the... Or, or a pipe. Either would work. There's a burrow strike. Could we see kill? Oh, it's another epi. He's going to go invis. Maybe. Yes, he will. But he will still die. Nice. Of course, stand in the fire. Still doesn't use Veil. Use Veil. Use Veil. Oh my god, these guys have been standing in fire a long time. Well, Necrolite's going to get that one at least. But, but damn, dude. Mongoose? Mongoose, you got this, Mongoose. Mongoose. Nukes on Sanking. He is so dead. Necrolite's like, I'm a 3v5 dis. The wards are still up. But yeah, look at this. He needs armor so bad. And Drow can just kill him from range. I mean, that's all. What the hell is he building? I'm going to build a bunch of medium items. Well, the Dire Team's now winning. I mean, the right click is kicking it with the hard carry, so. It's looking okay for them, honestly. I, ah, he still hasn't made a soul ring. People really like 
Mask of Madness, or Mask of Death this game. How do we have? One, two. We'll count both of those, of course. And uh, we've got one on a dine. Uh, Shadow Shaman is yet to build boots, but he does have a lot of six stat items. Tombstone is being placed. This guy really likes his tombstone, damn. Oh my god, he attacks fast. Man, that guy's like, really good at farming. With Drow is like a really good farmer. Are they going to kill the tomb? Nope, they're just going to dive tower. He could have ultied that probably and killed like everybody. I bet Vacuum's actually going to pull Undyne in. Going to fight this? They've got the Orchid. I think a lot of these players don't know how to use their skills, though. Uh, or at least use their items. Tower goes down, actually, and Dire Team is effectively pushing. Things look okay here. Surprisingly. It's looking quite good for the Dire Team. Any new Mask of Death? Morbid Masks? Nope, not yet. Does he realize... No. Uh, this looks a lot like a Vlad's right now. This also looks like a Vlad's. This actually looks a lot like a Vlad's. Maybe that's why bottom. He's been saving up for Vlad's this whole time. It's like, dude, Vlad's rushing, dying. Uh, once again, dropping the tombstone to kill four creeps. Alright. These... God, they're like fighting over nothing. What is happening? That's gonna be a dead hero. Darkster goes down at least. Here comes the epicenter. Because, of course, nobody can ever interrupt that veil of discord. Not gonna get used Eclipse. Getting shut down and a big team fight win for the raiding team. I think, yeah, we're going to see this guy die for sure. Necro, you got this, bro. Bro, you got this. Oh, yeah, heart stopper or a kill all the way. It's a little 15 Wisp. I don't think he has any skill points in either Overcharge or Tether other than one. Yeah, he's just like all in on stats. Look at this. He's got so many stats. Holy crap. All right, so Dire Team loses the fight. Still no Manta style. He's got a Hyper Stone, though, so he can attack fast and lifesteal. He should Roshan. He could solo Roshan. Do it, buddy. Do it. Also, if you have lifesteal, I would sell the tranquil boots. You don't really need tranquil boots if you have lifesteal, so you could definitely get treads instead. And besides, his damage is all about right clicking. You might as well you might as well get treads. I don't think he'll buy them. He'll probably stick on tranquil, tranquil boots the rest of the game, but that's okay. Shadow Shaman is now 300 away from Magnums. He does really like putting his ulti down. I mean, that's pretty apparent. We've seen that quite a few times this game. He's like, oh, there's a hero? Drop the wards. Oh my god, look at the damage. That is absolutely disgusting how much damage Drow does to towers. Oh my gosh. 1200 gold on Drow. Apparently, Bloodstone is not enough. Uh, he looks like he's going Aghanims, so he will get an Aghanims. Um, Aghanims are really not worth getting, in my opinion. The It's it's very, very, very minorly better. I, th I think he's actually going to need an Aghanims buff and or change. It's very weird, actually. The level 2 Aghanims does something that the level 3 doesn't. It basically marginally increases the damage per HP missing. That's all that increases. The cooldown doesn't go down, nothing. So, um, Aghanim's really not very good on Necrolite. I think the HP is great, but the amount of uh, percentage HP difference that has to be gone for them to die is like 10% or something. And you're spending 4,000 gold on that. You could get a Dagon for less and do 10% of their HP and then kill them with the ulti, for example. So, uh, Shadow Shaman has been able to afford it. There it is. Naked Aghanim Scepter. Look at that HP. His wards now do a lot more damage. It's basically like an extra level of ulti. He's probably going to drop the wards, of course, because that's what he does. Can we get a disable? He's going to walk through the fire first, of course. No problem. Stand in the fire. That's right. I mean, the amount of people standing in fire... Like, I don't even play World of Warcraft, and I feel like I have to yell, "Stand! don't stand in the fire to these guys. Like, it's burning on the ground. It's burning, guys. It's just, the ground is on fire. He's getting Aghanims too, so this is gonna. I'm pretty sure Jakira's gonna carry the whole game once he gets his Aghanims. We've seen what the Radiant team does in the presence of fire. They just, they just take it. Look at the right. Oh my God, this damage is huge. Shadow Shaman did drop his wards at least, but they're gonna die immediately after. Wisp, yes, kill the Wisp. Yes, he killed the Wisp. To the man. There's an ulti. That's a dead Clinks. Oh, the Eclipse is finally used though, and that's gonna be a dead Sand King. And wow, that's actually did quite a bit of damage. I don't think they're gonna kill Necrolite though. He's got pretty good regen. Death Pulse, strong skill. It was a Vlad's. Sick Vlad's pick up on nine. Little armor for his team. Phase Boot's not worth it. You're usually casting pretty often, so I think Phase Boot's not is not good. Um, I would say either Treads or Treads or Arcane for sure. Oh wow. Oh my God. Drought apparently kills buildings. Like he does so much right click damage that he just kills buildings. And he just took a free Rax. And the Radiant team didn't react. They don't have TP scrolls, of course. What? Who needs? Don't need TPs. TPs that don't have to happen. All right, and after getting the Aghanims, Ring of Protection. This is actually good in this case. Like, he should have boots, but Ring of Protection, when you have this much HP, is actually quite a bit as far. Oh, kill him. Kill him. Yes. Sick Hex. Please kill this guy. Ulti him. Yeah. Yeah. Necrolite. 
Oh my god, he hits really hard. Necrolite, get in position, damn it. Uh, doesn't have to, he'll right click it. He gets the kill. So another Bloodstone charge. That's a dead Draw Ranger. Draw Ranger got 2300 gold out of that. I don't know what he's building. I hope he builds something real, but even without it, he's he's still kind of a monster. Which is impressive, really impressive. Mask of Madness, okay, he's up he's upgraded one of them at least. So now he's life stealing for 17% at least, but um pretty sick item build out of Wisp. Maxing out Tether as well. He just really likes tethering people. Like, he feels safe, you know? He's like, alright, I don't feel comfortable unless I tether to somebody. And then I feel good. And Sanking's getting really tanky, but he still doesn't have a blank dagger. Is he going to ulti this? He's not going to. There's the ulti. Wow, that was actually pretty pretty easy kill, actually. Solid setup. Uh, is there a clip? Nope. Wards go down, though. I know he's going to macro pyre this, and everybody... Oh, he's on cooldown, of course. The only the only excuse. Why would he not macro pyre? Cooldown is the only possibility. Oh, damn. How did, oh, Necrolite Aura killed him. That was cool. Bro Strike, Bro Strike, Bro Strike, Bro Strike, Bro Strike. Pure and Flax, you are interrupting me casting a pub right now. I'm going to give it to him in just a second. Oh, kill that guy. Oh, three seconds. You got this. He's got the Aghanim Scepter. He's got to be careful. He's got him. Nice. Solid chase. All right, Wisp, you're dead. Pure and Flax. Trying to cast a pub, and you're interrupting, jerk. All right, back to the game. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. All right, there we go. Back to the game. <laughs> right click at the creeps. Akla might die. He's really tanky though. This is pretty good. Sick hex. Sanking's still gonna die. There it is, Draw Ranger getting killed. And now on to Clinks. Oh damn, a wall. <laughs> oh my god, that ulti was really good. <laughs> that ulti was so good. Stalker Shadow taking tower hits. Star that ring of protection, is it gonna save him? Oh my god, I think it did. It probably did. Let's be honest. <laughs> That's his YouTube channel, if you guys are wondering. That's just why I typed it. All right, what else is going on? Wisp, yes, yes, he did make a Vlad's. All right, Vlad's with a Mask of Madness, and now he doesn't have too many Masks of Deaths. I mean, it doesn't, I mean, Undyne's already got one. Oh God, he got Arcane Boots, sick. Undyne has a Arcane Boots too. Uh, this is not good. Uh, I, I think what probably happened, he probably decided to buy phase boots and he saw arcane boots and recommended items and then he decided to buy arcane boots as well. Uh, the move speed doesn't stack. Most of you guys know this. Um, he's also going for a Vlad's, it looks like. Because two Vlad's is not enough. Um, there's a reason I put this in my guide, guys. It's because people really like, really, really like Vlad's. They're like, armor? Damage? Lifesteal? Mana regen? Why would I not get this? Is he really going, Vlad's? Ah, uh, uh, God, I hope not. I think he is, though. I'm pretty sure he is. Um, Jakiro is almost up to Aghanims, at least. And then we're going to see people die. The damage goes up by quite a bit, actually. 40. He's going to ulti this. I know. Oh, I just knew it. I was like, creeps? One hero? Comes the ulti. It's going to happen. Somebody stand in this. What's going on? There's a team fight happening. Oh, they're like crushing team fights. Dr. Mongoose, get out of there. Get out, Dr. Mongoose. Oh, man. They actually hit kind of hard. I mean, he is life stealing twice. They have a Vlad's like no matter where they go in the map. Like, there's literally so many Vlad's in this game. In this game, it doesn't matter. Oh, he really wants to ulti this. Oh, wow, Clink's hits really hard right now. Oh, he's actually got real items. Sick ulti. Yeah. Regen. Oh, it wasn't enough. I was hoping he would like survive. That was his godlike spree. He's gonna survive really soon or revive soon because of Bloodstone. Nice deny, sick deny. Drop the wards, do it. Drop the base. He's going stats. It doesn't want shackles apparently. You should get one shackles though, like at least one. One is good. They're gonna defend this. I wonder if they feel like this is the closest game they've ever played in their entire life because this game is really close. This is like a solid game. It's like a pretty solid game. Burst Strike. Oh my god, Burst Strike. Don't let him macro pyre. Don't let him macro pyre. Oh yes. They, see, that's why they won the fight. They were going to die otherwise. Macro pyre was definitely going to win that team fight. Clinks is strolling around. 
Um, I thought this was a Mantis style. This is not a Mantis style. You cannot put a Crystallis with an Ultimate Orb. It has to be a Yasha for some reason. Like, that would be cool if you could, like, that's a sword, so why can't I just... Can I make it, like, a Divine Rapier into a Mantis style? That would be really cool. I mean, it's a sword. It's pretty much the same thing. Alas, just an Ultimate Orb and a Crystallis at the moment. Nicolai, what are you doing, bro? Uh, picks up a reverse. This is actually okay. If he goes heart, this works out. Um, armor is more important than, for him than anything else right now. Uh, once again, lots of right-click damage. Lots of right-click damage and lots of right-click damage. So look at this. He's he's actually pretty survival, but that's because he has 3,000 freaking HP. He's got the Bloodstone, which is 500. The Aghanims gives him like uh, 390. Uh, yeah, and the Reaver gives him another... God, I don't remember what this is. It's like uh, just about 500 HP. So the heart, he's going to have so much HP, it's going to make him look really tanky, but he would be more cost efficient if he actually picked up an armor item like a Shiva's Guard. That would be the best possible survivability item against the Clinks as well as the Draw Ranger. So this guy really likes right clicking. He, he does actually hit kind of hard, but not as hard as Clinks. Oh my god, there's the wall. Sick ult. Actually, yeah, wow, nice kill. Necrolite gets him. He's regening from this too. 50 HP per second. Here comes Happy Center. Oh, this is going to suck for them. Oh man, look at the kill. Still hasn't used the veil. Right click it. Yes. Dude, Sand King, you are the hero of the rainy team. Where's the rest of the team? Where's the team? Come on, team. There's the nuke. Still no boots. It does take them all to catch up. There is the Vlad's finish on Shadow Shaman now. They are... How is this game still... Oh, the fire. He still doesn't have his ulti stick. Get your point booster. Buy your point booster before you die, at least. Clinks. Yeah, Clinks clean up. God, this guy's really tanky, though. Doesn't matter. Clinks is going to clean up hard. Oh, yes. Oh, do it. Do it. Oh, yes. Do it. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. They did it. Oh, my God. This game is so back and forth. Oh, yes. This game is awesome. God damn it. Go buy your point booster. Does he still have those salves? He still has his healing salves. Use them or sell them. Yes, he is. Dude's got a mech. He doesn't need these anymore. Pop your healing salves and then buy your point booster and get your agonims and then have your macro power win the game. Nice, clinks. Alright, he's got 1400 gold. Did he buy anything? Just more healing selves. Everybody, how many? <laughs> Alright, let's count the Vlads and let's count the, the Aghanim Scepters. One Aghanims, one, two, three Vlads, two Aghanims, zero Vlads on the Dire Team because they suck. Almost two Aghanims though. We're going to have a lot of Aghanim Scepters. I mean, it's cool they upgrade that it makes your ulti better, but it's usually not the right choice. Uh, usually. Usually not. Aghanim's Heart. I mean, it does make Necrolite really tanky. You know what? If, if he just skipped armor, you know what would be really cool, actually? Since he doesn't have any armor items, if he just went Blade Mill. If he got Heart and then Blade Mill, his build would be sick right now. That's actually good. The reason for that being, if you grab armor items... Alright, if you're really resistant to damage and you have a Blade Mill, that means that whatever damage... Like, you only reflect the damage that you take. So, for an Axe, for example, when he gets Blade Mill, he uses Berserker's Call. Berserker's Call gives him, like, 30 or 40 armor, which means he takes very, very little damage. Which means Blade Mill's actually not that good, because he takes little damage in the first place. If you have a ton of HP and you're very squishy, and then you turn on Blade Mill, that means you have... You take a lot of damage per hit, but you have so much HP that it doesn't matter. So if he gets a blade mill on top of a heart, that would be sick. Against a Luna, and against a Clinx, and against a Draw Ranger, he could literally jump into a battle, pop on the blade mill, and reflect crap loads of damage. And they don't have a lot of HP themselves. I mean, look at them. If Clinx doesn't use his ulti, he's only got 1500. Draw Ranger does not have a lot. She ended up finishing uh, Daedalus, which is going to do crazy crit damage. We'll see how much. It's critting for about 700 right now. Once again, the Hyperstone is a waste, but this could be a Manta style, which doesn't give that much more attack speed, but uh, that is a mistake that this guy will learn from in the future. The uh, guess... God, you should never live when you do that. He's like, I want to go this way. I'll make it. I promise, guys. He does have money for heart, but they're going to lose their racks in the meantime because the Raiding team wasn't really paying attention. They're coming from behind, though. Here comes the Bro Strike. He's got a heart. God, this guy is tanky. There comes Bro. Here comes Epi. There's Epi. Are they going to interrupt it? He does... Nope. Nope. Of course not. There's a Macro Look at that damage. Macro damage is huge, and they're standing in the fire, of course. Yep, that's going to be a kill. Wow, I told you guys. Macro Pirate GG. That's going to be a dead Draw Ranger. Sick ulti usage there. If he had Macro Pirate, use your mech. Mike. Yes, he did it. Ah, oh, yes. I think I'm channeling myself into this game replay. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's what's happening. He's going Scotty, actually. Um, cool, that works. Scotty's okay on Clinks. Hardest finished on Necrolite, which means he can continue pushing. Reaper Scythe. Uh, Alright, 
Let's, let's see what this does. does. Increases damage per HP missing. Goes up to 1.2, I believe, at level 3. Decreases the mana cost for just level 1. Decreases the cooldown for levels 1 and 2. That means that Aghanim Scepter on Necrolite, literally, those extra buffs, the mana cost, and the level 1 and 2 cooldown doesn't even affect his level 3. I don't understand. It's, like, really old. I think it needs to get buffed, personally. Because Aghanims would be cool on Necrolite if it worked for him. I don't know. Mech Aghanims would be a fun build with a Planeswalker's Cloak and a, and a Wand. I would build that. That would be cool. But it's just not good enough, I don't think. I wish it worked, but it doesn't. Um... I wish it decreased the cooldown, and I also wish that it decreased the mana cost. That would be ideal, I think. The ability is good. Maybe it'd be too good. I mean, it's already a really good ability. It definitely is already a very good ability, but... I don't know. Hard to say. Who knows? Is this the... Is this after buff? What's the stun duration? It is 1.5. Okay. Looking good. Uh, Aghanims is finished on him. Darkseer is still working on his. Still about 180 gold away. Clinks. Is that a special bow? It is. Demon Spine Recurve Bow. Common, no problem. He's almost got his Scotty though. He just needs the Point Booster and the uh, Orb of Venom, I think. And then he is all set. Still, god, this guy's really tanky, but like, he doesn't have a Blink Dagger. He should have a Blink Dagger. They also have a double Rax push in, so this is looking really bad for them. Um, it's gonna be really tough. Still, of course, no boots. Going for Orchid though. But nothing like the Vlad's Aghanims. He does buy another Morbid Mask because two was not enough. Third Morbid Mask now. I don't even know what this Gloves of Haste is going to be used for. I, I really don't know. Can he even build anything else? He could build a Helm of the Dominator, I guess. But there's literally no other uses for Morbid Mask. He's bought the maximum amount of Morbid Masks that you can buy in a game. And it's on the same hero. So Dire Team is pretty organized. They're pushing. Radio Team's also pushing, but he can tank just fine, actually. Especially with the overcharge here. He's going to have to retether this. He, he does have his ulti finally. He could pull somebody back to base, but... They're just going to take the range barracks and they're going for throwing it. Don't tell me it ends like this. This guy has no items. Shiva's guard recipe. He does not have the item yet. There's the first tower going down. There's the wall. That's going to be a dead Dr. Mongoose. That's a good pickup. Tombstone is really useless this late. And there's Eclipse. Catching nobody. Oh, can he get him? Can he get him? Oh, he does get him. Okay, cool. Wow, that Eclipse lasts forever. Scepter Beams is 12, that's insane. And Necrolite does go down to some right clicks to physical damage, and that's gonna be the end of the game, it looks like. Yeah, that's it. Okay, wow, weird game. 41 41. The noobs beat the noobs. Thank you for playing if you guys are watching. Sorry, Flame View. Um, Jakiro Macro Prior, good skill if you stand in the fire, turns out. And that will be the end of the game, so I hope you guys learned something. That is, I've never seen that before. Veil of Fables? Commend me. Okay. Okay. You deserve it. You deserve it. No, I'm just kidding. Actually, can't... Can I report player positively? No. I cannot oh, commend, basically. Alright, just reports. Well, that's fine. I don't know what that means. Um, Dire Team wins. Their items were superior, I think. Yeah, yeah, I would say for, so, for sure. The Wisp had horrible, horrible items. The Shadow Shaman never got boots, his items were okay. Undyne never got farm, he died just a whole lot. And uh, Sand King had a lot of tank, but never once used his Veil, and he also didn't get a Blink Dagger, which hurt. Necrolite's items were okay, whereas the Dire Team had pretty much all good stuff. Uh, Draw Ranger had good damage, Clinks had good damage, Jakiro got good items, um, Luna got relatively good items, Aghanim Scepter isn't very good, but he got it. And uh, Darkseer also had decent enough items. So uh, they deserve to win that game. And that's going to be the end of the game. Thanks everybody for watching. And I will see you later. Bye.